Um, that, that means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. Um, one of the things when we think about our ancestors, they may have been thousands of years ago or hundreds of years ago. Um, but each of them faced different challenges. And um, the life that we're living today, um, like our generation is facing a lot of different challenges than our parents' generation. And um, one thing that Menominee people have always done has been resourceful. Um, they use what they've had. Um, and one of the things, um, you know, I left the reservation in 2000 uh, after I graduated high school. And I've kind of been out in the world the last 16 years, and one of the big um, things I've been involved in is politics, um, kind of at a national level and uh, even within state politics. But uh, I don't know how many people know this. There's a uh, Senate District 12 race going on. Uh, Menominee's within Senate District 12 in Wisconsin. Uh, the current incumbent is Tom Tiffany, a uh, Republican who's very, very pro-mining and relaxing the restrictions on mining. And um, I don't know if you guys know this or not, there's an Oneida tribal member, uh, Brian Van Stippen, that's running for Senate District 12. Um, well, when we think about our ancestors and them being resourceful, uh, today we have other voices too. We have voices to vote. And um, historically, we haven't gotten out to vote uh, within Menominee, but um, one of my friends was telling me, oh, that's awesome you guys are fighting all these environmental fights. What would be awesome is if we didn't have to fight these fights. And um, through politics, that's one of the ways. So if guys like Tom Tiffany are able to relax all of these mining restrictions in Wisconsin, we're going to keep facing these fights, you know, 5, 10, 20, 30 years down, down the road. And so uh, when there's people like Brian that are running for the, in the Senate race, we need to have our voice within that system as well. So... Um, you know, I wanted to just encourage everybody, if you're not registered to vote, um, you know, think about registering. Uh, if you still choose not to, that's, that's your thing. But, um, you know, we need to try to fight these things at various levels. And, and you know, there's prayer, there's, uh, you know, political stuff, legal stuff. Uh, but voting is another big one because we can avoid some of these fights uh, because uh, those small few aren't representing our, our full voice. So I um, wanted to talk a little bit about that. And then also with... Uh, you know, the talk that was done about restoration is uh, there's a bigger presidential election going on in the Senate races. So uh, when we think about what could happen if these races go bad, uh, if Donald Trump were to get in as a president and have a control uh, Senate and uh, House and, and the United States Congress, uh, termination policy isn't that far away from us again. So, uh, you know, we have to participate in these systems, uh, even though they're not traditionally ours. Uh, it's the resources that we have today are voting, and uh, you know Russ Feingold uh, is running for the Senate. Uh, Tom Nelson's uh, are uh, running for the House uh, up in our district. So um, I think Brian's going to be at the uh, pancake uh, feed on the first. Uh, try to get to know everybody. But uh, the other thing about uh, voting is there's early voting in Wisconsin. So once you get registered, you can go vote ahead of time. Uh, so. You know, maybe two, three, five minutes of your time uh, to really change the fights that we're going to have in the future. Uh, we'll always have these fights, but it depends on what the rules are of the fight. So I just wanted to share that much. Thanks.